Hello everyone, um, today I wanted to show you what are the electronic fan um, boards uh, that I'm using for my custom 3D printer, the large one. So basically I have a Manta M8P with a CB1 um, that will drive uh, all the motors and then I have two power supply and I have two because I'm going to explain why uh, so one is going to be for the um, Manta and the motors so here are the um, 5160 drivers okay and this other one will actually um, power two MOSFETs uh, and two uh, induction uh, elements to you to be used for my induction uh, extruder um, heating element okay so this is the extruder but this is the coil that we'll use to do the heating via induction okay so if you in a coil if you pass current through a coil uh, inside whatever metal is inside will be uh, heating uh, for uh, induction okay that's uh, electromagnetism uh, laws okay so that's the solution that I'm trying to use and the reason is because it's going it's going to um, melt the pallet inside here there is a screw of course inside here that turns basically it's the same here is the same idea of uh, a filament extruder okay so in this case uh, I will feed pallets here this uh, uh, induction will hit the entire uh, chamber okay and the screw will push um, carbon fiber out of here at the nozzle okay so to do this you need to create to have an element that does um, you know produce a current that allows you to um, to use induction okay so you need to two elements the MOSFET is driven by uh, the uh, heaters um, connection of the Manta board so one heater will drive one MOSFET and the other heater will drive the other MOSFET in my dual uh, extruder setup. Uh, initially, we'll do only one and to make sure that everything uh, works fine. Um, I will have a bunch of uh, uh, fan on this uh, all elements, including the extruder part, okay, and of course the uh, Manta board. Um, I'm still debating if those fans will be driven by the Manta or I can do separately and just keep it on all the time when uh, I'm, I'm playing with a, with a 3D printer. Okay. So I'm going to drive this uh, infrared uh, bed film uh, using a, an AC, DC AC uh, relay which is driven by the uh, board on the bed side these two are two DC to DC MOSFETs uh, so they will get power from here and then they will drive these two induction elements to uh, let current inside this coil and hit the extruder okay uh, then I will have all the motors wiring CB1 here and then HDMI connection to this uh, display, which I already uh, tested uh, and I showed uh, uh, a video about it. Okay, so now I'm trying to lay down here, um, lay out uh, where I want to put every element. Um, I think I'm going to do like a wood panel and then. Uh, I will space out a bit more this guys because I have all the wiring and I want to um, make sure that the wire are attached to the uh, back so that they are not flying around 
and the reason is because I'm going to have a lots of wiring I think um, initially I will have only one of this uh, extruder so I will keep this uh, on hold for now but that's okay and um, uh, right like this it will simplify a lot and also having this uh, MOSFETs and this uh, uh, relay will uh, We'll keep the Manta uh, board uh, uh, using less power, okay? Because it will have only the power from from the motors, but uh, the heating uh, part uh, it will have just a um, signaling connection to these guys, and the actual power comes from directly from the power supply to the MOSFETs and goes through here, okay? Same thing as here. So this guy. This power supply will drive the motors and the board, of course, and this power supply will drive the extruders. Okay, so I will separate them. And also I will have uh, probably uh, the fans, uh, some connected to the motherboard board directory, some other independent. I want to keep these things uh, cool, so I want to uh, make sure that the fans will blow air at all times. Okay, that's the idea. So I just need to figure out the uh, dimensions of this uh, panel that I want to install this stuff on it and um, make sure that the wiring, um, they're not too long and they are fixed to the back. So if you have any comments, please let me know. Uh, I'm always open to suggestions and stuff. Um, if there are any uh, uh, doubts or questions how I'm going to connect this stuff let me know um, it's, it's not going to be difficult uh, it's just uh, you know a lot of elements let's say okay and uh, that's it so please leave a like subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next video